Well, the war of words and military maneuvers between the U.S. and North Korea is ratcheting up this morning. Yep, and North Korean soldiers rallied in their capital. WENY HD's Candace Cole joins us with more. Candace. Lauren, Joe, all this comes after U.S. stealth bombers sent a stark message showing solidarity with South Korea. Thousands of soldiers marched in North Korea today in support of their leader and his call to arms. As tensions escalate, the country's leader now threatens to strike the U.S., ordering its forces to be on standby. All this comes after the U.S., in a rare admission, says it sent two B-2 stealth bombers from Missouri to South Korea, dropping dummy weapons on a bombing range before returning home. Those exercises are mostly to assure our allies that they can count on us to be prepared and to help them deter conflict. The U.S. launched the mission hours after North Korea cut off communications with the South. These stealth bombers are powerful, capable of dropping 16 nuclear bombs, each on a different target. Officials say the use of these bombers was part of a normal military exercise with South Korea. Still, the message is clear. We will uh, unequivocally uh, defend and we are unequivocally committed to that alliance with South Korea. Experts say the country is not capable of nuclear strikes, but the threats are being taken seriously. The Pentagon has already taken steps to strengthen its missile defenses on the West Coast in response. We have to take seriously uh, every uh, provocative bellicose word and action that this new young leader has taken so far. Now, North Korea has ordered their forces to be prepared to strike the U.S. mainland and Hawaii. However, experts say it's unlikely they actually have the capability of doing so. I'm Candace Cole for WENY HD.